Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're back to our normal human clothes self. It kind of makes me sad though. I prefer being nude. Clothes are so overrated. But anyway, uh, you will probably want to leave this place to get back to Castle Town, but how do you do that anyway? Well, you can't actually walk out of this place or run out of this place that I know of, and I don't believe you can warp. No, you can't. At least not right now. Um, so the only way that I know how to get out of this place is to go over... Well, let's, I'll talk to you first. What the heck? Hmm. At the bottom of the lake is the next dungeon, by the way. Anyway, you're supposed to talk to this guy to get out of here. He'll be like... Mm -hmm. well, well, yes, they were just frozen. Apparently that does not kill them. <laughs> I just said that, dang it. Hmm, interesting. Uh, well, yes I am. This is the only way to get out of here. This is... <laughs> you gotta use his tourist attraction to get out of here. Only 10 rupees. Sh sure. That repairs thing is for something later on in the game. So I'll just walk through here. Let's see what his attraction is about. Oh, geez. Who goes? Ridiculous. And voila, you're out of the lake. <laughs> no safety gear or anything, you just get plopped over here at this target. This place, I'll show you here. Oh. Hmm? Why, yes. That's the sick one, by the way. Indeed we will! We can't swim that deep without it. Uh, am I going the right... What? Is this just the... Oh, this is the landing area on the roof. I forgot about that. You gotta hop down here. And then this door over here takes you out to the pathway. Remember that door that was closed before that I said that I had to go across the oily bridge? Yeah, that's where this is. I'll just show you this for a second here. See that? And then there is the bridge that I crossed. I was all on fire earlier because of that trap. Urgh. Okay, I just wanted to show you where we are. But first, there's something I would like to do here. It's a little mini game that is now open. At least it should be open. I, I'll be very sad if it's not open. Because I said it was open, then they'll make me look like a liar. <laughs> You'll notice that there's a lot of cuckoos here. I'll talk to this... Uh, nice to meet you! Can I play a game to get myself a heart piece? Sure. You can also get quite a lot of rupees out of this minigame. I'm going to attempt to get to the very top of the Isle of Riches, but uh, you only need to get to the second tier level to get the heart piece. All right, let's pick a Kuko. I don't really think it matters which one. Just grab, ah, grab one. I'm picking this one because I haven't grabbed one that looks like this yet, I think. <laughs> You're in the corner. I've got you now. <laughs> oh wait, actually, I don't think I've grabbed one like you before. Okay, I'll use you. I'm feeling lucky with this chicken. All right, your goal is to get to... Uh, actually, I forgot where you're supposed to get to. <laughs> Isle of Rit... Oh, there, right there. That thing right there. That island. You want to aim for that top moving platform, if at all possible, but you want to get to that, that one there. But this flight is... You're going to go right over it if you go directly towards the thing, so... Just get yourself looping around in a nice wide circle. And you might want to follow the rupees if you want to. You don't get as much if you go around the other way as if you were to just aim for the platform. So I don't really aim for it all that much. Okay, we're getting closer. 
Getting closer. This is just the way that I like to do it. Okay, switch the camera around by pressing down on the control stick. Oh shoot, I'm a little too far back. Dang it! Well, at least I made it to this one. Because this is the one that I need. The top one, I think, contains... 100 rupees, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, that's the hard piece. And for other prizes, just go down each tier like so. You know, come to think of it, I'm, it's probably a good idea that I did not get that top prize. Because I, I, I won't be able to hold these rupees. <laughs> you know, there are remaining rupees that are here. At least not until I upgrade my wallet. Which I will be doing very shortly in this part, actually. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, I did a pretty good job of clearing that out, especially since the heart piece is the only thing that I need for 100%ing uh, this. Been fun to get to the top of that little mini game there, but eh, I, as I said, I wouldn't have been able to hold it anyway. Just notice my rupee count down there. If that one was a hundred, oh, I wouldn't be able to pick. Well, I would be able to pick it up first, but then I wouldn't be able to pick up the rest of the rupees, and I'd have to go through the mini game anyway. So anyway, let's let's leave the lake again. <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> it's just so quirky. Just listen to him really working at that thing too. <laughs> Voila! Needless to say, our trip has been paid for many times over. <laughs> I spent uh, 40 rupees there, but I got many, many more back from that mini game, so no big deal whatsoever. All right, let's leave and, and go <laughs> go over to Hyrule Castle. As I said, I don't believe I can warp there, but uh, I guess that's okay. I'll just use a no pay to ride over there. Wherever there is a piece of grass, I must find some grass. There's always somewhere you need it. Grass, grass, grass. Wherefore art thou grass? I think I see some grass. Horse grass, yay! Yay! Uh, anyway, on my way back, I'm also going to be talking to that golden wolf. So I've got to show my way there anyway. You know, the one that I couldn't get up before because I did not have uh, human hands. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, let's go. I don't know if there's going to be any other activities on our way back there anyway. And, uh, I'm not going to break apart those boulders just yet because I'm not, I don't need to go there at the moment. I'll be going there later on, of course, in the walkthrough. I'm just going to keep it, keep it simple at the moment and move forward. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Not, it's not there, is it? Where is my golden wolf buddy? Uh, I'm right. Oh, I didn't see it because of the glowing bloom of the sun. <laughs> Wait a second. Did you just shoot? How dare you shoot me? <laughs> finish, finish, finish! And that's what you get for shooting me as I was trying to climb up. You know, it's funny, they don't... Like, they tell you the amount of rupees that you get every time you grab a certain color of rupee, but, you, but they don't tell you how many arrows you get once you get a certain kind of arrow bushel, and there's different amounts of arrows that you can get, and they're not immediately obvious like rupees are, because, you know, rupees are determined by color. I don't get how they... <laughs> how they thought it was a good idea to tell you every time you get um, rupees after you restart the game. Well, certain color rupees... <laughs> you know, what the value of them. Alright, so he wants to test me of my shield attack. No problem. Come on, shoot your thing. Shoot your thing. You're supposed to shoot your thing in order for me to do the shield attack. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I am. I am. What was the... What What is ailing you, Mr. Warrior? Hello? Oh, wait, 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 I'm supposed to do it... Like... Yeah... I, I, I thought he wanted me to deflect his... Um, energy blast like he did before. <laughs> well, never mind, that explains it. 
I'm thinking too much of the past, but he wanted me to do something different this time. <laughs> now this is a rather handy move here, it's called the back slice. <laughs> the unprotected rear is the bane of many enemies' existences. So it's basically strafing to the side, but extreme strafing like so. You just jump to the side by pressing A while holding left or right, and then pressing A again to do the roll. And then A when you're coming out of the roll when you're behind the enemy. Very, very handy. Woo! Voila! And I will find them all. I mean, that's kind of the point of the walkthrough. <laughs> Alright. So we're back to the land of the living, and I cannot jump on an ope. Curses! <laughs> that would have been pretty cool if I could actually do that, though. And... Oh, you can't go upstairs. I'm gonna have to hoof it the rest of the way. Well, fine. Be that way. Uh-oh. How's it going? Woohoo! Yay! The letters have been doubled! <laughs> okay, so let's go into our inventory and read away. Ooh, Barnes Bomb Shop. Ooh, that's just what I need, so I'll be going back to Kakeriko. I should also show a little Easter egg over there at his bomb shop via the lantern. Uh. I forgot to do that when I was over there. Mm, I... didn't I... huh? Uh, oh, I, I'm thinking of a different place, never mind. I'll be back to that place later as well. But anyway, I'm going to go into Castle Town and explore it a bit now that I have much, much more access to things now that the twilight is out of the area and I have opposable thumbs that I can use to open doorknobs. But this preacher guy, you, you might want to talk to him. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna give him as many rupees as I possibly can. You wanna give him a thousand rupees throughout the course of the game. So, yeah, it, it's, it's for something. Let me just say that, it's for something. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm sure I'll get more rupees along the way, you'll see what I mean, so I can purchase bombs. So I gave him 200 rupees there, and he still can't talk to the walking people, dang it! <laughs> How about you? But I want the bones for myself. <laughs> uh, this. I could show you in this inside this tent, but you can't do anything about it just yet. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll just go inside it just to show you. Why not? Do a little exploration of the town. So it's quite dark. Dun dun dun! Hey. Ah, Tingle! Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I was a little worried there. <laughs> Notice the first letter of each sentence there is highlighted to imply the star name of this place. Uh, I don't think I'm capable of doing this right now. So I'm just going to say no. I, I don't think that there is... Because I need an item from the temple to be able to do this. I just wanted to show you the inside of this place. It's basically a um, obstacle course that you grab around the place to collect um, glowing orbs. And if you collect them all within the same within a certain amount of time, you get a upgrade. But that's for later. I'm coming down here to go to Agatha's castle. Because I have a golden bug. And that golden bug will give me a delightful wallet upgrade because she loves golden bugs. Is this... this is Agatha's castle, right? Tell me if this is Agatha's castle. Yes, it is. Are you peeping at her? Hmm. 
That's kind of shady. But anyway, I'm going inside anyway. You can peep at me as well, I suppose. I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> so here we are. This is part of a, quite a large side quest. But I'm not going to be finishing this side quest until much, much later in the game. When, I'm, when I have access to all the golden bugs. But remember that golden bug that I got much earlier in the game? Well, I'm going to give it to her right now. You know, she wants 24 of them. So, let's talk to her. Yes. See all of them? I'm going to fill all these slots eventually. <laughs> I'm going to make one single video on it, as I said later on. One of those catch-up videos I've been talking about. Oh, so precious. Oh, Wait, that, that's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> I would think her head would squish this poor beetle to death. And I get the big wallet! Oh, I'll definitely find them all. There's a male and a female version of each of these bugs in the game. Uh, oh, I thought she was actually going to give me rupees as well, but I guess not. Her house is basically one haven for one big haven for bugs. She loves bugs a lot. Butterflies on there. Containers. There's her bed that she's probably going to use the beetle to sleep on, but whatever. <laughs> uh, and that's about it. This is like a bug display case. You can check all around their house later once you get all the bugs. But, as I said, not going to be showing them until later. I just wanted to get an upgraded wallet. Because now I can hold 600 rupees, which is going to be a whole lot easier for collecting rupees along the way. Especially when I'm going to need to spend a bunch of them. It's funny, I wouldn't have been able to give even 30 rupees to that uh, preacher guy. <laughs> oh. Hmm... Ah, uh, no, I'm asexual. I'm going in here, though. <laughs> Let's see what's inside the fortune place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> Are you Rosie O'Donnell's sister? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, sure, what the heck. Hmm... Let's see, I want to increase my pocket change, why not? Oh! What's my fortune gonna be? I, I believe that was actually backwards uh, spelling, by the way. I didn't have time to read that, though. <laughs> and basically, she tells you where you're essentially supposed to go if you ever get lost in the game. This is something that Majora's Mask definitely could have used. <laughs> that game is just... oh, never mind. <clears throat> just so convoluted with trial and error stuff, and you get the idea. You're sp well, you know what? Sh should I explore further in this town now that I have access to a whole lot of... I, I suppose I could. I'm not, I know I'm supposed to go over to the bar, but it's going to take me quite a while to show you everything in the town, actually. So, as well as talking to everyone. Uh, that sounds just like the place I would want to go, actually. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to leave the town. But I suppose I can show you behind Castle Town, anyway. There isn't really any anything here just yet. In fact, the gate is actually closed. So, yeah. Oh, hello there. Ow. Those are important, but I can't do anything about them right now. I need to be a wolf. See, over there, this is something a little bit later in the game. This is a very tired Goron. It's like... Uh, oh, that's nice of them. Yeah, he needs hot spring water, and you know where to get that spring water from, don't you? Yeah, but that's for a side quest later on in the game. I just thought I would show you this side of the field anyway. Uh, there's something to climb over there, but I'm not sure if there's actually anything of interest over there. There's a... Deku Baba, but that's not really important. 
I'm going to climb up here and hope the crows don't knock me off. Please don't knock me off, guys. I very much appreciate that. Uh, yeah, there isn't anything here at, right now. Uh, can I blow this up? Just for the fun of it. Yes, I can! And I get a blue rupee, which is worth five! And yet, oh, didn't tell me what a yellow rupee was? Wow, really? It must have been good enough um, when I played that attraction. <laughs> I must have satisfied the game's need to tell me what a blue rupee is like. I mean, what a yellow rupee is like, excuse me. Uh, what is this? I forgot what this is. Oh, it's death. <laughs> At least I believe it's death. And this leads back to uh, Lake Hylia if you hop down here. You'll notice that there's the river there. You know what, I'm gonna hop down this hole just for fun. Woo! Yep, that's what I thought would happen. <laughs> that was not a good idea on my part, but I just wanted to try that. It's a little shortcut back to li- Hello? Never spoke with you before, have I? Oh! Wait, maybe I did speak to you before. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself catapulted out of here, and I will see you back at Hyrule Castle Town. You know, jumping down that hole was probably the worst idea I ever had, but I just had to try it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was gonna transport me back to the Castle Town gate or take me back to uh, Hyrule Castle, um, I mean, or take me back to Lake Hylia, but it ended up taking me to Lake Hylia, and that was, as I said, a terrible idea. No, really? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I just want to see what the guys have to say up here now that I'm not, and that I'm talking to them directly and not, you know, listening to them in wolf form. I'm going to be going around the town in a counterclockwise fashion. Ah, okay, okay. That's what I thought. But I just wanted to see if they had something funny to say. And I'm going to explore the rest of the town as quickly as possible because this part's going on for quite a while. And then I'll go over to Telma's bar to meet up with the uh, passed out Zora kid and Ilya. Hmm, Kidoki. So over here, what do you have to say? Huh? You mean me across from the TV? Are you breaking the fourth wall? That that sounds illegal. <laughs> uh, medical clinic is it's not open right now. Maybe because it's nighttime. Oh, that was the, yeah, that's the exit that I took to, um, the field where I ended up back at Lake Hylia because I did a very, very dumb thing. Ah, that's the guy that he's talking to. And you cannot open those doors for some reason. That is too bad. Oh, too bad. But I will pick up this puppy because it's not too bad. <laughs> I cannot, can I open this door? I'm just trying all the doors for the heck of it. You can pretty much tell what is or is not open via the map, but I'm just making sure, like, you'll see over here there's that opening and, yeah, I can, no, I can't, okay. <laughs> oh, maybe you can't tell by the map and I'm just being silly. Mm, that cat is chasing me. Are you going to attack me, kitty? Ow. <laughs> I do a good job of hurting myself. Uh, nothing there, at least not yet. I think it's because the it's nighttime and I'm here and I shouldn't be here at nighttime. So I think what I'm going to do is end off the part here and then go over to Telma's bar starting the next part. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you then.